Hi everyone, coming to you from Universal City Walk. We've had an amazing day so far. Um, I nipped into islands this morning in a couple of hours, did eight rides, including a walk on of Hagrid's. Then we've been around the pool, we've been playing lots of games. Joey's been getting on the microphone, getting involved, winning lots of prizes. And now we're coming into City Walk to go eat a cowfish for the first time. So we're hoping the amazing day is gonna continue. We're gonna have some great burgers, but we'll, uh, we'll soon find out. Then after that, we're gonna head into the parks, do a few rides, and then hopefully end the day off toasting some marshmallows and watching E.T. round the pool. So whilst we head in and get our table of cowfish, we're gonna put a few clips in from today of what we're being up to, and we'll see you on the inside. about City Walk, but they love seeing your table's not ready, wait out for a text, and then you literally get a text like 10 seconds later saying your table's ready. Um, but we booked a table on the bus in, and to be honest, every slot was available, so it's the middle of August, and yeah, on City Walk, I don't think you really need to make reservations, just walk up where you want to eat, and the chances are there'll be a table waiting for you. So since COVID, a lot of the restaurants here have gone to digital menus. The odd one or two's brought paper menus back, like Margaritaville, 
Um, but cowfish looks like it's still digital, so if you do want to check it out. Cowfish? Did you see a cowfish? Yeah, what do they look like? They look like the one outside. So yeah, if you do want to check out the menu, scan that and it should bring it up. And just as I was saying that, the waiter came over and asked if we wanted paper menus. So it looks like that is an option as well. But old people like me that can't read menus sometimes. Oh, if it doesn't blow away. But yeah, they've got lots of different options um, in the sushi category, lots in the burger category. But if those aren't your things, then this may not be the place for you. But yeah, it's going to be a burger for us too. So this is the Royal Burger, which has got belly pork on it. Uh, this is the Dragon Bites, which is just chicken tenders. <laughs> it's like a little pudding for you. What is that? Uh, I don't know, a squealer or something. Squealer or something, but yeah, lots Look of fried onions, fish. looks good. Look at the fish. Look at the fish, yeah. Does it look good? It's right. neat look at that way. Full park. Alright, let's eat. So we're 20 seconds in. I've had a few chips and Sam's demolished his burger. If you ever go out for a meal with Sam, you'll notice he doesn't speak to you while his food's out. <laughs> Is yours good? Have you eaten any of it? Ah, nugget. Yours, Joey? No, no. Two more food. What's that? What? It's yucky. It's yucky. Okay. No, one more. What's that? You tell everyone what you've got. I got my fish fingers. And why did you get that? Because it can't be too. Did you ask the man for it? And then what happens after you asked him it? Yeah. And what did you say? Thank you. So what did you think? Really good. I thought finished it. I gave the rest of the sandwich. So I mine it up. So I think you're happy with that. Did you get food? Then? I think it looks better than it tasted. It tasted pretty good. There's a lot going on. Good bacon coleslaw, gherkins, onions. Sauce. So I had the Royal Burger which was Wagyu beef and belly pork. And again it was good, I would say probably just good. I think the burger at Margaritaville a few days ago was actually better. And then I had a taste of Joey's uh, chicken nuggets as well which were good. Uh, it tastes a little bit like KFC, just maybe a little bit blander on the taste. Maybe not quite as much spice but yeah, they were good enough. Joey said they were not good. Joey said they were not good, but he was uh, cheeky and asked for another rice uh, crispy bar pudding, which did not for him, so that was good. Well, I'll have a quick look at the bill in a second and see if they put $5 on for it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it was good, I think. If you come here, you're going to get good food, but like I say, for me, I think Margarita Bill's burger is actually just a little bit better. And this is the damage, so I had a Blue Moon, which is $10, the Big Squeal, uh, which came with normal fries, so then we upgraded sweet potato fries for additional 150. I had the Royal, and Joey had the Ninja. So that came to 71.89. So with tip, we're looking at around $85. Cowfish with a sushi burger. Uh, it's like a fire. So, sound like a Spider Man then, don't I? Fire. Uh, so, yeah, it was good. Glad we tried it. 
um, but I wouldn't be in a rush to go back personally. If someone else we were with wanted to go, then I'd happily go for them. But yeah, I think there's other places on City Walk that are potentially a little bit better for me. So we're heading into studios now. We gave Joey uh, the choice of a few different rides in each park and he said he wanted to ride Transformers. Uh, currently at a 35 minute wait. Hopefully it's a little bit shorter than that by the time we get there. But yeah, we will see. But yeah, absolutely roasting. I don't know what time studio shuts, maybe eight. It's just coming to six now, so hopefully it's not seven. But yeah, either way, chance to get a couple of rides in. And we'll see you on the inside. So we're just down the side near Voodoo. And these are some of the coins I've got. So I've got Spider-Man, T-Rex, Hulk, and SpongeBob. Which is your favorite? I want the T-Rex. You want the T-Rex? Yeah. So, how much is it? One dollar. No. Have we got one dollar? No. no? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we'll get you a T-Rex then. Yeah. And what they have got actually on the machines, I haven't seen this before. It's a little QR code and it says if you scan there you can get a map of all the machines. So we'll take a look at that in a second as well because that'd be quite good if it shows you exactly what coin drew up which machine if you are trying to track some down. What is that? What? It's a T-Rex. Nice. Oh, it's like Usain Bolt. Bye. Bye. Can I go do some jogging? Okay, bye. So we made it into studios and Transformers has gone the other way so it's now up to 55 minutes so just coming into Minion Land so we're going to see what villain con is and potentially give that a quick ride and hope Transformers comes down. Uh, 35? Yeah. Yeah, 35, we're doing it. So if you want to do some of the villain con stuff on the app, what you need to do is go to the main Universal app, slide to the right, look for connect to gameplay, scroll down to play it. And then when you pick up your blaster, if you click sync blaster, hold it near it, it'll connect. But then you can uh, create your username, there's missions to do. There's the lab where you can pick different bits to customize your gun. And also there's some collectibles as well. They'll give you your rank. So that's the daily leaderboards. We uh, haven't ridden today, so we're not on there. Not that we would be anywhere. And then trophies as well. And if you want multiple people on one app, if you go to add a new player, you can just create a secondary profile. And then to flick between them, you just click the top right, and then you can just do that. So you make sure you've got the right profile active, scan the gun, then just swap to the other person. I think whoever designed this bit of the queue must hate people. And that is going to be absolute hell during the day if it's busy enough that the sun's pelting down on it. Uh, what I don't understand about this ride is they make you stand outside in the boring queue, um, hold you until the last second, and then you fly through the good queue where there's actually lots to see. Is it good? What's good? This ride, Joey's review, it's good. So it's good fun but really laggy compared to usual which I think is a problem if there's too many blasters at once. It just gets really laggy, you can't really tell sort of what's going on. But let's see how we got with the scores. Uh, nowhere near. So I think I got 464,000. Um, so yeah, nowhere near the leaderboard. What did you get? Which is my worst one yet. Yeah. That is nice AC. So it said 
45 minutes, but yesterday or the day before, we were in here. I don't know where Joe is going. Uh, we were queuing all in this room, and I think it was like 35 minute wait. So hopefully, it's not going to be too long. I just want to chill in the room tonight rather than coming to watch ET but looks like it's a good job because the pool seems to be shut now I don't know if it's because there was thunderstorms in the area they've decided to just call it a night or, or what but yeah looks pretty closed and by the looks of it it was supposed to be open till 11 p.m. so I don't know if it's going to reopen or what but yeah can I see Volcano Bay in the background there and then there's two fire pits, so there's one just over there, you can see, and then there's one near the other pool as well. You can buy marshmallows and sticks and the like in the uh, the restaurant, canteen, food court, whatever you want to call it area. So I'm going to go fill up on some water now for the night and then call it a day. So I hope you've enjoyed. No, I haven't really got up to a huge amount in this week's vlog, but yeah, hopefully still something for you in there. We'll catch you next week. Thanks for watching.